the worst flooding. These are the latest to the live pictures, in fact, from Hiroshima. So, Alexi O'Brien has more on the story. Across half a nation, a sea of muddy water. Flooding has ripped Japan in two, with central and southern regions largely submerged. The death toll has steadily climbed. An elderly man was swept into a swollen river in Hiroshima. Homes have collapsed and landslides have buried at least 10 people. East to west from Kyoto south, dozens of people are missing. I offer my deepest condolences to the victims and my sympathies to all people who have been affected. In central and southern regions, 1.6 million people have been handed evacuation orders. Another 3 million have been advised to leave. The heavy rain is forecast until Monday. Heavy rain will continue in the area from western to eastern Japan, and it will be historic torrential rainfall, which could be the heaviest rain ever recorded. Nearly 50,000 police, firefighters and civil defence personnel have been deployed. Kyoto's riverside promenade, a major tourist spot, was shut when the Kamo River burst its banks. Roads and bridges are shut for hundreds of kilometres. Warnings have been issued for landslide-prone areas. This rainfall is hitting basically everywhere at once. So uh, there's no, it's difficult for the emergency services to prioritize where they should go first because there's so many things happening all at once. And obviously if a road is washed out or a bridge is destroyed, uh, even if you have a, a nice fire engine or, or ambulance, you can't get to some of the places that you need to go to. And responders have experience. Rural areas of Japan struggle with flooding at this time every year. But this year, there were special circumstances. Typhoon Praparun entered the Sea of Japan on Tuesday. High winds taunting Japan's southern islands before it moved north, dropping unprecedented rainfall. The typhoon has passed, a move that means little to those navigating its wrath. Alexi O'Brien, Al Jazeera.